In a large baking dish, you're going to put three cups of Bisquick baking mix. Add to that one half cup of diced pepperoni. And I'm adding a little bit of cooked crumbled bacon as well, but that's optional. Then you add one tablespoon of dried minced onion, one teaspoon of Italian seasonings, two tablespoons of chopped green olives or black olives, whatever you prefer, one can of condensed tomato soup, three quarters of a cup of water, and half a cup of mozzarella cheese and half a cup of cheddar cheese. And then you're going to simply stir that together until just moistened. You don't want to overbeat the, the dough. If you don't have Bisquick baking mix where you live, you can easily find a copycat recipe online if you search for it. Then you are going to fill a muffin tin molds at about to about three quarters full. I'm using silicone baking cups here, but you can just spray your muffin tin with cooking spray or grease it with butter and then just fill them up. Then you're going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 17 to 20 minutes. It makes about two dozen and you're going to bake them until when you insert a toothpick in the center of one, they come out clean. These are a little bit unusual for a muffin because they are savory, they're not sweet. However, the texture inside, as you can see, is quite nice. Um, you can still see the cheese. If I could do, if I were to make these again, I wouldn't uh, cut the pepperoni at such big pieces. I would cut the pepperoni into a finer dice. But they're very tasty and they make a nice accompaniment to dinner. And they're a really nice different alternative to your regular dinner rolls. Give them a try.